Berlin at War paints a picture of what life was like in Hitler's capital during World War II. It uses first-hand testimony, memoirs, diaries and interview accounts to tell the human story of ordinary Berliners in extraordinary times. There are many aspects of the story of Berlin at War which are very much analogous to the British experience of World War II. Amongst them, of course, the experience of blackout or of rationing or of the evacuation. But there are many other aspects to the story of Berlin which are extremely alien. Foremost amongst those is the Holocaust. And one important question that the book does address is to look at how much Berliners knew about the Holocaust, uh, which was ongoing at the time, uh, and how much they uh, truly appreciated what was going on in their name. Another aspect, of course, is the, their attitude towards the Gestapo and to the totalitarian state of Nazism. Uh, and I think that's an important aspect which really goes to the heart of how the Third Reich functioned as a society. When we in Britain think of the bombing in World War II, we naturally think of the Blitz. But the bombing of Berlin from 1943 onwards was more sustained, more intense and more lethal than that. The death toll in somewhere like Berlin was vastly greater than actually the entire death toll in the UK through six years of warfare. And this was one of the aspects that came across most strongly in the interviews that I did with that generation of Berliners that experienced the war directly, that terrible fear that they had of being bombed and indeed the experience of being in the bunkers. Berlin at War sheds new light on a dark chapter in modern European history. It asks important questions about the nature of society under dictatorship and the nature of society in warfare. And I hope it answers them in an engaging and stimulating way. This is a book that tells an as yet untold story and gives a voice to those ordinary Berliners who have been silent for so long.